Hello everyone. For my seminar, I didn't choose a traditional typeface designer. Instead, I decided to shine some light on someone who has fairly recently redesigned type media as we know it. He's a gentleman that you may be familiar with, and if you're a design student and you're not familiar with him, well you should be. Of course, I'm speaking of David Carson. All right, uh, I figured while I tell you a little bit about David Carson and his life, you could take a look at some of his works because, well, you know what they say about pictures and words, but, well, if they're pictures of words, then what is that worth? Hmm, I digress. David Carson is an active American graphic designer with a flair for typography, but let me step back for a moment and explain his fascinating beginnings. Carson was born in the town of Corpus Christi, Texas on September the 8th, 1952. At the age of four, he and his family moved to New York City, and he would be exposed to an epicenter of art and culture. Carson traveled around the U.S. and all over the world with his family and his youth, certainly exposing him to a worldly sense of design, if only subconsciously. As a youth, David Carson was talented artistically, but he didn't pursue a career in graphic design right away. While in college seeking a bachelor's degree in sociology from San Diego State University, he spent a lot of his time on the beach surfing. In fact, he had professional status through the mid and late 80s and placed ninth in the world in 1989. It was during this period while seeking his degree that he attended a three-week design course in Switzerland and met his instructor and an influential figure, Hans Rudolf Lutz. Lutz is a designer and typographer who helped Carson find his niche. Shortly after this, Carson redirected himself and landed his first job in the design field, working for a small magazine called Self and Musician. It didn't take long for Carson's talents to be noticed, and he was recruited as an art director for Transworld Skateboarding Magazine in 1984. It was here that Carson would get his feet wet and begin developing his style. After his success as a pro surfer, it only seems feasible that next he would be chosen to direct Beach Culture Magazine. Beach Culture was a short-lived publication, lasting only three years. However, it was a small venue that allowed Carson to be expressive in his work. David Carson used this freedom to stretch his toes and polish up a signature style that, though wasn't always legible, both colleagues and critics alike considered it to be innovative. In fact, in one feature about a blind surfer, Carson covered a two-page spread in black. After Beach Culture, Carson worked with Howe Magazine, a trade publication for designers, but soon went to work as a founding art director for Raygun Magazine in 1992. With its chaotic, abstracted imagery and dissected type styles, Carson created a style for this magazine that continued to be emulated in the year 2000 when it ended publication. It was during David Carson's three-year stay at Raygun that he showed somewhat rebellious nature. In one issue, Carson used Dingbat, a practically unreadable font style, as a font for an interview with Brian Ferry, a singer that he considered to be dull. The publication did put the real article in the back pages for the readers, but that's the kind of cutting-edge shenanigans that David Carson became renowned for. After his stay at Raygun Magazine, in 1995, Carson spread his wings and opened his own studio in New York City. Since, David Carson has done work for such corporations as AT&T, Sony, Warner Brothers, Western Union, Bose, Armani, and many more. He has also done work for such musical acts as Nine Inch Nails and Bush. David Carson has authored books as well. Most notably, his book on design entitled The End of Print, which has sold more than 200,000 copies and counting. He has also assisted in the making of Philip Megg's History of Graphic Design that is still utilized to train design students today. Carson has won over 170 awards in design over his 25-year career, including Best Overall Design and Master of Typography. David Carson's work was cutting edge in the design world of the past and continues to be ingenious today. He has in the past few years been experimenting with film and television and directing commercials and I think that it's David Carson's ability to shapeshift that intrigues me the most. I truly enjoy the way that he seems to be in search of himself and his total potential. He grasps whatever media that he sees fit and conquers it with his style. His motivation as a designer keeps him passionately speaking about and practicing. David Carson has influenced and taught so many designers who use type and that is why I chose to highlight him for this seminar. So the moral of the story is that now David Carson is a legend and well basically a star. 
all thanks to graphic design and more specifically designing with type. I hope this has been satisfactory, but I'm really tired now you guys. Good night.